let's take a look at the timeline and, and different versions of uh, SAP uh, Extended Warehouse Management. Uh, but before that, uh, I'm going to uh, explain this chart for you. Um, uh, we have uh, three sections. So we have the top section that shows you from 1970 to 2015. Uh, and then on top, you can see um, boxes there for uh, the high-level functionality provided uh, by SAP uh, in, in, in that time frame. And you can see uh, electronic data interchange, uh, EDI. Um, you could see um, you know, where wireless data transfer. Um, so that's the high-level functionality uh, provided by uh, SAP. In the 1970s, that's when SAP introduced its first um, uh, enterprise resource planning system. In the middle of the chart, we can see on the left side uh, the different versions of uh, R3, which were the enterprise resource planning ERP systems um, uh, provided by SAP. And on the right side, we can see the different versions of the extended warehouse management system. Uh, in the bottom of the chart, you know, we can see the um, different um, warehouse management functionality and when it was provided uh, by SAP. Now, let's, let's go a, a little bit more in detail uh, with that time frame and the functionality. Uh, and then after I do that, I will go and take a look at the boxes at, in the bottom of the screen and, and go over some of the details. As you can see in the chart, SAP introduced storage units and parallel processing in 1993 with SAP R3 release 2.0 and 2.1. In the late 90s, SAP introduced the decentralized warehouse management in SAP R3 release 4.5. The SAP Lean Warehouse was introduced with SAP R3 release 4.7. In the SAP Lean Warehouse, the inventory management takes place solely at the storage location level. The system does not update the stock data at the storage bin level. You use the Lean Warehouse for processing goods receipts and goods issued. When you use the Lean Warehouse, you process the warehouse movements in basically the same way as if you were using a warehouse management system. You work with deliveries, you create transfer orders for these deliveries, and the transfer orders serve as picking list. SAP introduced the SAP Extended Warehouse Management System in 2006 with the SAP EWM 5.0. Some of the early functionality of SAP EWM was slotting warehouse orders, warehouse monitoring. The latest version of SAP EWM is 9.3 and it was introduced in 2015. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the chart. Like I mentioned before, if you look on the left side, you know, with R3 release 2.0, the storage unit management and parallel processing was introduced. In release 3.0 and 3.1, there was the integration with the production planning uh, quality management. And here you can see in release 4.0, the picking waves uh, was introduced. Uh, and also there was an integration with the human resources module. Um, in 4.5, then we introduced the de decentralized warehouse management and a prototype of radio frequency. Um, let's see here. In 4.6, we introduced packaging functionality. Uh, in 4.7, like I said before, we introduced the, uh, or SAP introduced the lean warehouse and resource management. In um, then in EWM uh, 5.0, you can see that slotting warehouse orders and warehouse monitoring uh, was introduced. So you could see the different uh, functionality of it uh, and how the um, more features were 
uh, introduced in, in the product.